Hey everyone, I'm Tracy Verdugo and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Some of you I have known for a long time and you've known me for a long time and others might be new, might have just found me while scrolling. So I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself before we jump into today's video. I'm an Australian mixed media artist. Um, I work mostly with acrylics, acrylic inks, fluid acrylics, regular acrylics, um, and then I'm also loving experimenting with all kinds of other materials with crayons and oil pastels and charcoal and collage and uh, you name it. Color is my thing, but I also love to work in black and white sometimes. Um, especially when I'm using the acrylic inks. So I, I love to dabble in lots and lots of things. I've been a full-time artist for, let's see, um, 2011, almost 14 years now. Um, and I spend a few months of the year traveling and teaching art retreats all over the world. Uh, and I also teach workshops here in Australia. Uh, and I have, I think, 13 or 14 online classes now on my website available uh, from faces to animals to uh, abstract to everything about acrylic ink. So lots and lots and lots of um, workshops and courses online to explore there as well. And the last seven months or so, I've really been committed to showing up here on YouTube every week to bring you something new, to share some moments with you in my studio. Um, I'm very much a beginner YouTuber, but you know, I just decided I had to jump in and I had to get going with it. I've had my YouTube channel for a long time, but it was always very sporadic uh, posting. So now I'm committed and I hope you follow along with my YouTube journey. Um, today, I'm just doing a short video with you. And um, a lot of times I, um, as you'll see in past videos, I end up a session by just using up leftover paint in my sketchbook. Um, sometimes I'll create a small painting like within 10 or 20 minutes by using up that leftover paint. Other times it's just a background um, that I've stamped down into my sketchbooks and then we'll see what happens from there. So I've had this photo of Virginia Woolf on my wall for quite some time now. For a couple of years I think and I'm actually related to Virginia Woolf. I got into um, genetics research um, a couple of years ago, had my DNA done on my heritage and have been having lots and lots of fun exploring my um, ancestors throughout history and I've gone back you know all the way to I think the the furthest I've gone back is around um, the year 800 um, and so I have mostly Irish, Scottish, uh, English uh, blood, a lot of kind of heritage around the Cornwall, um, Devon, um, and also in Yorkshire, and um, lots in Ireland and Scotland as well, and a little bit 4% Scandinavian. So um, it's so so fascinating. Uh, so anyway, Virginia Woolf is my, I had to look this up, on my family tree. She is my third cousin, four times removed on my mum's side um, and funnily enough my sister my younger sister Jean when she was doing her degree many years ago uh, decided to do her thesis her master's thesis on Virginia Woolf and this is before we even knew that we were related so that's kind of woo. <laughs> um, so anyway I had that photo and I just I had this page in my sketchbook that I had used up leftover palette paint on and so I just did a really quick sketch uh, just in a dark watercolor pencil um, of Virginia Woolf. Didn't get the exact likeness, but I do like how it's turned out. And I'm actually wondering whether I may have like a hand or something coming up here holding something. I'm not sure yet, I'll sit with it for a while, but I just wanted to share the quick video of how that drawing unfolded. So I hope you enjoy, and um, please feel free to scroll through uh, all of my other videos and um, subscribe uh, if you uh, are here for the first time so that you'll find me again. Uh, so enjoy this little video. Bye for now.